वेलकम बैक टू अनदर वीडियो दिस वीडियो इज रियली वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वेरी क्रूशियल एंड विल बी वेरी यूजफुल फॉर यू गाइस इफ यू आर प्लानिंग टू एनहांस योर एल्गो ट्रेडिंग और यू वांट टू इंप्रूव योर सिस्टम परफॉर्मेंस वाइल परफॉर्मिंग द बैक टेस्टिंग और लाइव ट्रेडिंग आई ऑलवेज यूज दिस लाइब्रेरी एंड इट्स रियली अमेजिंग इट्स एक्स्ट्राऑर्डनरी सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड एंड आई विल शो यू हाउ यू कैन यूज इट सो इन द फर्स्ट सेक्शन आई विल शो यू how to take the help if you are stuck somewhere if you want to check the syntax of any indicator so how you can take help and how you can know the exact syntax and then in the second section we will learn how to access these pandas ta functions okay there are multiple ways and in the last option i'll show you two amazing features which you will not find in any other library and those are very much useful and i always use them it's really awesome it's really amazing so now let's get started and first we have to import the pandas library so import pandas as pd and then we import pandas ta as ta right so it's all good okay so now first of all we check the documentation of this library so what you can do you can just type df dot ta and help so now here you can read the whole documentation and you can use as per your requirements right so now if you want to check the indicators what you can do you can just type da and uh, df dot ta dot indicators so here you will get a whole long list of indicators it's around more than 200 and you will also get the bunch of candle patterns here so you can even use those right so now if you want to check for any particular indicator what you can do you can just like take any indicator so here for example we are taking the bb bands so i'll just type ta dot bb bands and and then i'll just type help okay so here we have the whole syntax right and you can see the returns and calculations even you can click on this link from where it was taken so you can understand the whole indicator how it works so these are the basic things these may be required in case if you are stuck somewhere you can just take help of these documentation now we move to the next section which is how to access these functions there are different ways to access these functions and like few are more efficient which can save your resources and if you are a big company and even if you are running a small cloud server it can save your dollars it can save your money right because if you consume less resources definitely it will save your money right so basically we have three methods or we can say three ways to access the pandas ta the first one is standard the second is using data frame extensions and the third is strategies in which i will show you two most amazing features of this pandas ta which you will not find in any other library so let's check the the first one which is standard in which we will directly call the function so how we can do that this is my original data frame right so let's say i want to check the rsi of this close price right so what can i do initially you can take help so first you check the help and you see here the syntax right this one so i will type dot rsi and then the close so close will be okay, let me clear the output first okay and remove this and print my data frame okay so the close will be this column right so in order to access this close column of this df data frame i have to type df and then close correct this is the standard way to access this so now i will just hit enter and you can see we have calculated the rsi of this close column you can change the value as per your requirement you can change it to like open high even volume so let's check for the volume here and so let's check for the and this is it. so here is the rsi of volume right okay now if i check the df and if i want that this the value of rsi of volume should be here so in order to achieve that what i need to do i need to assign this one to a new column which will be like df and rsi so this value will be assigned to the new column rsi of the data frame df when i hit enter and when i again run this 
df you can see the new column with the rsi of volume right now the second method is to access the functions of pandas ta via data frame extension and it is really amazing and also you just have to write a smaller code okay so what you can do you can just type df ta rsi rsi that's it okay so by default it takes the close value okay i'll just show you a demo for example here i just change for the demo purpose okay so when i check with this method the value is 65.03 right and when i enter this syntax so by default it will take the value of close okay when i hit enter you can see it is exactly the same 65.03 right and when you need to append this to the existing data frame you just need to enter append is equals to true and when you hit enter and when you check again you can see that we have a new column rsi 14 right so this is how you can access with the data frame extension it is very short and very easy for you okay one more thing like here what we can conclude that this syntax is just a short alternate of the command of the syntax like you have to type the whole syntax ta dot rsi then you have to give close equals to data frame right so that is df close and then again for the append you have to assign a new column which is for example rsi right so instead of writing this whole syntax you can just type this and it will work exactly the same like this so this is the first section and in also with the pandas ta you can calculate so many amazing things here so i'll just show you like you can calculate result with this syntax the max drawdown the calma ratio the sharper ratio and the sort you know ratio if you want to explore it more if you want to check the documentation so you can just head to the official github repo and you can refer that now we move to the next part which is the chaining the indicators we can chain multiple indicators how we can achieve that okay so for example like if you want to calculate the average of ohlc right so the average of open high low close and then you divide by four so you will get the average right so what you can do so while calculating the ema this is one function of the indicator ema so here you can directly pass the another indicator that is dfta ohlc4 and like this so this is really amazing you can utilize this library and you can make a whole new amazing world of your own and here you can like pass the length as 10 and then you can suffix equals to you can give as ohlc4 and you can also assign the prefix which we can give like demo and here if you check you can see the value you can see the ema right exponential moving average and if you want to append like when we check it is still not appended but if you want to append this indicator what you can do as you already know append equals to true and here when i again run we have the ema demo ema right so this is how you can access with the data frame extension it is very helpful and very useful okay now we move to the most amazing part of the pandas ta and this is why i love this library i always use this library okay so in this section i'll show you we can also access the pandas functions with strategies so in strategy basically we have three types one is built-in second is categorical and third is custom so what is built-in so built-in is okay let me just comment it and strategies the first one is built-in right built-in the syntax of built-in is df dot ta dot strategy when you run this syntax it will like execute all the indicators everything right it will like it will apply the whole indicators in your 
data frame and if you want to append you can just type here append equals to true okay if you want but like that's not always the case so now the second option is categorical in this what it will do it will categorize all the indicators in this separate categories how okay, let me show you how categories and okay when i run this you can see we have different categories candles cycles momentum overlap performance and volatility volume so if you want you can directly apply these so now if you want to check like the momentum right so now what you can do you can just type dfta strategy and take any of this like momentum and pass here and when you run shift enter you will see it will take some time and it will calculate and will show you the results so now when you check your data frame you have a whole lot of columns and you can see these all are new columns added with this command the momentum these all are like momentum indicators right this is the power of pandas ta you will not find this feature in any other library if you find the net then please let me know i would love to have a look at those libraries okay now last but not the least the custom strategy so i'll just go ahead and uh, we'll just copy from the documentation you can also refer that i'll just paste the link in the description so this is the custom strategy so here you can give it any name you like and here you have to type ta dot strategy then you can give the name as like any name you require so here the default name is momo and volatility in description in description you can describe as per your needs and then ta the technical analysis ta equals to you have to pass a list of dictionaries okay so here is the key and here is the value so kind and then sma and then you can give the length and if you don't give it will take the default right here also like in sms we have the length of 50 the length of 200s and the bollinger bands the length of 20 and rsi and macd with the fast 8 and slow 21 okay so now here it is the sma it will check for the like volume with the length of 20 and prefix is volume and now when you run this command you will be getting new columns in your data frames so we can see here that we have the volume this one we have the volume with sma 20 and then you can check the macd of 21 and 8 correct and then we also have the bollinger bands here and sma right so this is it for this library if you have any doubt any questions or if you're getting any error please let me know in the comments i will definitely love to help you out until then take care bye bye have a nice day see you